Hey YouTube, this is KV Sky here coming at you with another video. Now, this is my new way or form of doing manga reviews. So in front of you, you just see a picture. And then I'm just going to be talking because I don't feel like showing my face anymore because I'm tired of the stupid thumbnails that the freaking um, one in shot was uploading for me. So now I'm going to do the chat reviews in this one. So you have something to look at. You don't have to look at my face all the time. You have a neat little photo. Without further ado, let's get into this chapter review. Now, I've done some tests on this video, so I know completely know what chapter 5 is about. There's nothing really special that happens into it. Now, Kobe and Luffy run through the naval base, and they run into some officers, um, and then Luffy uses Helmento as a shield so the guards couldn't shoot Luffy. We cut back and forth between the, um... The graveyard where Colby and Zolo is, and then Luffy and Helmenfo. Like, you know, as like Luffy and Helmenfo are running through the naval base tower, um, Colby is also untying Zolo at the same time. And while while I'm at it, you know, Luke, um, Colby did get shot. He got shot in the left shoulder. He gets up, so he ain't dead. And then, you know, Luffy ends up finding Zolo's swords as they run through it. But at the same time, Zolo and Colby are about to get shot at. And Zolo has a quick flashback of him and Kuina when they were little in this chapter. Of course, Zolo lost to Kuina, and then the, the students of the dojo under Sensei got mad because he thought they thought that in the flashback that Sensei was giving his daughter some um, special lessons because they know Zolo is really, really strong. So they... Kuina and Zolo both made a promise to themselves that they wouldn't die and that they would become one of the world's greatest swordsmen. However, Kuina did die. She fell down the stairs. That's unfortunate. So, Zolo asked Sensei if he could have um, Kuina's sword, which is the Wado Ichi Moji. So, after that, Zolo's like, I can't die here. And while they're about to shoot at them, Captain Morgan's also on the scene as well. Should also add that. Luffy Gums Gum Rockets out of the naval base jumps in front of them in time before the bullets could reach Kobe or Zolo. And then they all bounce, the bullets all bounce off Luffy. And then nobody is harmed. And then after Luffy got done that, he gave Zolo his swords. And Zolo's like, you got yourself a pirate. So that's all about that happened in this chapter. Nothing too special. Nobody died. I mean, Luffy, I mean Kobe did get shot, but, you know, that's only about it. Only harm that it done. So that's about it. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe and hit the gray bell for more content like this. Um, for now on, I'm going to start doing it like this because I'm just tired of the freaking thumbnails. You know, I feel like it's better this way. You know, I don't feel like reviewing my face, but however, I do feel like talking. Plus, you get to look at a cool vid, um, photo while I'm doing it. So I am signing out and hope to see you in the next video. This was a short video.